Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make this Catwoman mani manipulation. So this is gonna be uh, the end result, so let's begin. First of all, let's bring the first image. It's gonna be this background right here, so open with Photoshop. So now we have the background, let's uh, duplicate this back background by pressing Ctrl J let's go to filter blur Gaussian blur and let's blur it with with 7 pixels 7 or 8 so click ok now let's go to adjustment vibrance and let's put minus 27 on, on the vibrance minus 27 next let's bring the woman this is gonna be the cat woman Now let's desaturate the image by 36. So click here to put it as a clipping mask, and right here we're gonna put minus 36. Now let's go to add some brightness and contrast, and let's put minus 19 right here. Minus 19. And don't forget to click this for uh, to put it as a clipping mask. Next, let's go with levels. So add some levels. Clip it. Uh, put it as a clipping mask and move this to five. Next, le let's bring the other image. That is gonna be these bars. So. I'm gonna extract it from the background. I'm gonna get a magic wand. I'm gonna click here and on the outside. I'm gonna press Ctrl Shift I to invert the selection and Ctrl J to extract it. Now I'm, I'm gonna get the rectangular marker tool to select this this area right here. Control J to separate them and I'm gonna get that and move it to my image I'm gonna move this below the woman Control T to transform and I'm gonna transform it I'm gonna get the rectangular marker tool to make this selection. And I'm gonna move this a little bit up. Right here. Control D to deselect. I'm gonna add some curves to that as a clipping mask. So click here. And we're gonna get this middle point and move it here and then go to this right here and move it like this so now I'm gonna insert the Batman logo I'm gonna change the blend mode to soft light and opacity around 77 I'm gonna go to fil uh, filter blur Gaussian blur and I'm gonna and I'm gonna put 4 I'm gonna rasterize that layer because I don't wanna have it as, as a smart object so next I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna make some light rays so I'm gonna get the brush and 
moment I'm gonna paint something like this. I'm gonna go to filter, blur, motion blur, and I'm gonna put angle around 41 or 45, uh, 41, and distance about 700. Click OK. Get the razor tool with the soft hardness zero and let's erase this right here also erase right here And let's lower the opacity to 50. I'm gonna go to the on the bat logo. I'm gonna add a layer mask with a brush with a soft brush. And I'm going to erase with 25%. I'm going to erase some of the white so yeah I'm just gonna go over it I'm going to lower the opacity on the light light ray beam or whatever or whatever you call that so I'm gonna lower that into 40 40% also I'm gonna add layer max to it with 25% opacity and I'm gonna erase these hard edges and I'm going to move this a little there so next I'm gonna go on the top layer and I'm going to add this texture background and change the blend mode to soft light I'm gonna add some color balance to all the layers so I'm going I'm, I'm gonna go so I'm gonna go to adjustments uh, color balance and I'm gonna type minus 17 and minus 26 and 4 now I'm gonna make a stamp Con control shift alt and E I'm gonna go to filter sharpen on sharp mask amount 85 radius 1 pixel and there's hole for levels click ok I'm gonna make a new layer I'm gonna go to filter render and I'm gonna add some clouds to it and change the blend mode to soft light so now let's make another stamp control shift alt and E and we're gonna go to filter, other, high pass, and we're gonna change here. Let's put five and see how it looks like. Change the blend mode to pin light and the opacity around 50. Never mind, change the blend mode to soft light also let's go back to let's go back to the cloud layers add a layer mask 
soft brush 25% and let's erase here so we can make a little more visible the Batman sign logo so now let's make another stamp and let's go to filter and let's adjust the color effects pro plugin that's the one i'm gonna use right now please bypass and let's click o and let's lower the opacity to around 50 and last but not least let's change the levels a little bit so go to levels and I'm going to put two and right here I'm gonna change this to 236 and that's it we uh, this is the result we have so I hope you get the same result as me and don't forget to comment like share and if you want to see more videos or more tutorials well don't forget to subscribe if you haven't well thank you guys for watching this video and see you next time bye bye